Hello, Miss W here, and I wanted to help you guys out with your evidence for evolution in amino acid sequence lab. So this is going to be really quick. Um, make sure that you guys do the actual lesson um, and watch the videos that go along with it before you get to this lab. But it's a really simple lab. So basically the idea behind this is that the more similar your genes are, the more closely related you are. This is used to create, you can use this to create a cladogram or an evolutionary tree. So a little reminder that we're going to be looking at amino acid sequences, but where do those amino acid sequences come from? Remember that we go through a process here. We start with DNA, we're going to transcribe that to messenger RNA, and then we're going to translate that to the amino acid sequence. So if you have a similar amino acid sequence, then you would have a similar DNA sequence. Okay, so then you're going to get to the lab. There's some pre-labs to this um, that you need to read over. There's some questions that you need to answer. But when you get here, the best thing to do is actually print this out. Your first task is to count up the number of differences between humans and these organisms in the um, sequence for the protein that codes for hemoglobin, okay? Now, you'll notice that um, it starts with four and we skip some numbers up here. Um, the numbers that are skipped, all of those are gonna be the same. So don't worry about what, what's skipped. Um, this is actually really simple, so don't overthink this. Basically, I'm going to compare, I'm going to start by comparing the bear to the human, okay? And I'm just going to compare these letters, PT, same, PG, different. So you can highlight this, you can circle it, whatever is easier for you. So I'm going to circle it. PE, same, SS, AL, different. Keep going and just find all the differences between the two lines. And make sure you do all three charts. So you have to do this one as well. Keep going. Keep going. Another chart. Okay, so I think I have gotten all of my differences. If I haven't, I'm sure one of you will let me know, but I think I've got them all. So then you just count them up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So there are 15 differences in the amino acid sequence for hemoglobin in a bear compared to a human. You would do the same thing for the chimpanzee. Just make sure that you are comparing the whatever organism you're working on, you always compare it to the human line. So you're going to be comparing this line and this line now. PT is the same, PG is the same, ED, SS, AA, TT, AA, ZZ, ZZ, so on and so forth. Lots of similarities here, okay? Just making sure, I'm not going to go through all of it, but you guys get the idea. Make sure that you're comparing always back up to a human. So even when you're doing the mouse, you're comparing that to the human line, okay? Once you have this chart, you're done with this section and you'll go on to the next section. The next section is talking about cytochrome C and they've done a little work ahead of you, ahead of you um, and they've already given you the number of differences between these organisms in the cyto cytochrome C amino acid sequence compared to a human. So you'll see chimpanzees actually don't have any differences um, in that sequence for that amino acid um, compared to humans. Fruit flies have 29, horse flies have, or horses have 12, so on and so forth. All I'm asking you guys to do here is create a bar graph. So just a little reminder what a bar graph is. Um, you're gonna have some bars on this. Um, I'm pretty flexible with how you want to do it, just as long as it's set up somewhat correctly. Remember that this is your x-axis, this is your y-axis, 
On the bottom, I would want you to write all of the species names. So the title of this would be species. Make sure you write in your title. Okay. Now you can abbreviate these as long as I know what they are. Um, or you can write out the whole name just to be um, make it easier. You can arrange them in a different order. If you want to put, in a, put them in most differences to least differences or least differences to most, or if you just want to keep them in the order they're in, that's fine. So for per, uh, to save some time, I'm just going to write a C here. CH for chimpanzee. My next one will be fruit fly. My next one will be horse. And then I'll let you guys kind of fill out the rest on your own. Okay, your y-axis is going to be the number of differences. So let's see if I can write this in. Number of, and I'm going to abbreviate, you go ahead and write it out. I'm just trying to save some time here, but number of differences. And then you just fill it in. So maybe count by fives to make it easier. go ahead and finish that out okay um, but for chimpanzees there's zero differences so I'm actually not going to have a bar I might just draw a line right here to show that it's actually zero fruit flies I have 29 so I come up here close to 30 um, right about there draw a line and then I would fill that all in because I'm making a bar graph Again, I'm pretty flexible on how you want to do this. You can do it digitally. You can plug it into an Excel sheet. And if, you're, if you know how to do that fancy work, make a bar graph and then just insert the picture into your lab. Um, you can draw it out on paper and take a picture, whatever works best for you. But this is what I'm looking for. So horse flat, or horse would be 12 differences. So I come up to 12, draw a line, fill in my bar graph. Simple, simple. Give your bar graph a title. Remember that you're comparing all of these to humans. So somewhere in your title, you should have humans. Um, remember, this is talking about cytochrome C. So give your graph a title. That's it. And then you'll just go on and answer the questions. Finish up the lab. Turn it in. Easy peasy. Please reach out to me if you have any questions. Thank you so much. Bye.